Okay, again, uh, I'd just like to know a wee bit about uh, your childhood and your um, your parents. Maybe fill us in on that, please. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I was born in Scotland, in Falkirk, um, in 1995. Um, my mum and my dad, Carol and Alec. Um, I've got three little sisters and one little brother, um, Martin, Lucy, Holly and Danielle. Um, I had moved over to Northern Ireland in 2007, um, where I kind of started the whole performing and acting and stuff. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it and stuff. It was, it was fun. Um, yeah. And when was the last time you were uh, back in Scotland? Last time I was back in Scotland was um, in August there. Um, I was at my uncle's uh, wedding. Uh, we a warm up kilt, which is a few pictures rolling about somewhere online of oh, me wearing my kilt. Uh, so it was a good win. Um, no, it was, yeah. Oh, what age were you, you started in this business? Um, well, well, I started around six years old. Um, I, was, I always wanted to perform, like I danced and all that kind of stuff. And I just I never really wanted to go forward as being an actor. Um, I always wanted to be around, like, dancing and all that kind of stuff. Um, I've done the deputy plays and all that in primary school and stuff in Scotland, um, which is fun and I can remember actually. So that's a good thing. Well, as you know, we have a few questions here from people. Um, what was your, uh, what languages do you speak? What languages do you speak? Um, well, I was taught French and I was taught German in high school. Have you a favorite band or a favorite song? Um, favorite band? Um, Oh, there's some there's so many out there. Um I'm gonna have to go along the lines of I like five seconds of summer, the vamps. Um I'm not too fond of one direction. Um uh, but my favourite song at the moment has to be Ugly Heart by GRL. And yeah, who your favourite actor or actress be? Oh, my favourite actor is Johnny Depp. Um, yeah. I've been following Johnny Depp for, I don't know, I've just been following his movies since I was little. Um, I love Edward Tizerhands, it was a fantastic movie. Um, but my favourite Johnny Depp movie has to be Secret Window, because it's just, it's a mind-blowing movie. It's just, it's fantastic. Right, and another question was sent in. Uh, would you ever consider doing a uh, stunt in soap operas? And if so, what one would you prefer to? Uh, uh, probably EastEnders, because that would probably be the most popular one in um, the United Kingdom. Um, either EastEnders or Coronation Street or anything. Um, but if I was to go overseas to like Australia or anything, like do Home and Away or all that kind of stuff, Hollyoaks and stuff. So, yeah. And in Korea, had you. Any real awkward moment that uh, stands out in your in your mind? Awkward moment. Um, yeah, um, when I was in the process of filming too late, um, there's actually a video online of this. Um, it was behind the scenes. I was getting my makeup done uh, by the makeup artist Vanilla. Um, she was in the process of putting blood on my lip, and every time she came near me with a brush, a tickled, and I burst out laughing, and I couldn't I couldn't stop laughing. Um, but uh, that was probably really awkward because there's so many people looking at me on set and it's, it's crazy. Another question that I find it a bit funny, this for myself, uh, what kind of cereals in your cupboard <laughs> what do you choose? What kind that's of cereals in my yeah. cupboard? Um, that's an awkward one. I like Cocoa Pops. Um, I, I don't know, I like Cocoa Pops and I like my porridge and ready break and all that kind of stuff, but Cocoa Pops would probably be the main one. Yeah, it's quite a good question, actually. I don't know this one. How tall are you? How tall are you? Um, five foot nine. Right, and where did, you, where did your passion for acting begin? Passion for acting had to be watching probably Johnny Depp movies. Um, he's, a, he's a method actor. He controls all his acting and all that kind of stuff, and he can cry in the spot, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, no, Johnny Depp movies is sprung inspiration to me. Just wanted yeah. to keep keep going forward. 
What actor and movie impressed you growing up? What actors and movies? Okay, um, right, well, I like Johnny Depp, Jack Nicholson, Robert De Niro, um, all the old favourite actors. Um, probably my all-time favourite movie. Has to be Braveheart, I know Mel Gibson's in that, uh, with Johnny Depp and all that's not on it, obviously. Um, Braveheart has to be my favourite one because it's a Scottish movie. Um, I was born in Scotland, so I love that one. And also Robert De Niro's Taxi Driver, which is a very old one. Um, it, it's a fantastic movie, it's a brilliant storyline. Yeah, yeah. And what was your breakthrough role? My breakthrough role had to be... Well, I've been getting quite a lot of publicity from Too Late and stuff. Um, I know it's my own movie. Um, Adam, McCaffrey, Adam McCaffrey wrote the film. Um, I had came to him in 2013 in October. And, uh, I, I laid forward a concept idea to him and I asked him to do a bit writing on it. So he done the first draft of the script and I looked at it and I was very impressed. Um, it's, quite, it's quite very very strong material. Um, but yeah, it, he wrote it and then we just moved forward from there. We got Titanic Vision Entertainment on board, um, Phil McAlevey and all that, I uh, filmed it. Um, but it was good and we had our premiere in September in the Arbor City Hotel. Um, that was a big hit. There was four hundred people at it, and uh, by the end of the movie, because of its awareness and its its aim in the film, we had actually got a few audience members in tears from its story and its its just whole passion. Like it's just it was mind blowing. I have a question: What do you look for in the script before you accept a role? The character, definitely. Uh, the character's background, um, which way he acts, um, what accent does he use, what way do, what kind of clothes does he wear, just along those kind of lines. But the first, yeah, that's the character, and then the first ten pages of the script would bring me into the actual script itself. And what avenues out there do you think there is for to promote themselves and actors to promote themselves? Oh well, s social networking sites, your own official website. Um, Anything uh, social networking has to be the best one by far. Um, there's so many great pages out there that's been made by individuals um, just to help promote your skills and help others in the industry promote themselves as well. All right, can you tell us about GA Promotions? GA Productions. Productions? Yeah, Productions. Um, that, that, was a, <laughs> that was a company. Um, me, whenever we started too late, me and Adam decided to make a company um, and go ahead with G Productions to bring the forward and produce too late as a proper product with a proper company. Um, so that's where G Productions came from. Um, we're not, in, we're actually not in the process of doing anything else. Well, I don't think we want to do anything else together. Um, I think too late was just really just there, sitting there, waiting on us, coming in. Um, and who, who are you referring to? Who's with you? Is there somebody in partnership with you in that? Yeah, it's Adam McCaffrey. Right. He's the writer of Tully. And he's also, he's play, he plays Sam in Tully as well. Right. right. Yeah, what uh, schools did you go to? What schools did I go to? Um, well, I was born in Scotland and I started off in the Grange Primary School. Um, I stayed there to primary three or four because I got bullied a lot in the Grange Primary School. Um, so then we moved to Keneal Primary School, which is uh, I was in the same town. So I, I stuck there right up to Primary Seven. After that, I went to the Bowness Academy. I spent half of the year, the uh, first year, in Bowness Academy, and we had moved over to North Ireland. And I attended City of Armagh High School right through from first year up to fifth year. And then moved from the Armagh High School to the Southern Regional College. And hopefully um, get into the Royal Conservatory of Scotland, the University for Performing. So that's my next objective, is to get into university. What was your first uh, time on set like? And how did you enjoy it? My first time on set, oh, um, well I was doing extra work. Um, it, was, it was quite good actually. Um, 
fair enough, there might be a lot of wires and stuff flying about, but there was many people around you, many produ productive people. Um, yeah, no, it was amazing. Like, never expected it. Right. Can you tell us about some of the roles you have? Uh, uh, some of the done? roles I've done. Um, well, I've also play I've played Reese and Too Late. Um, that's one production. Um, I'm also in the process of making a new film. Uh, it's called Don't Be, De Don't Be Afraid, Stand Up. That's another brilliant film that I want to raise more awareness of. Um, what else have I done? Um, many stage shows and musicals and stuff I've done main roles. played Oliver. Um, I played Kinecki in Greece. Um, Red Coat and Black 47. And, uh, just, just plenty of roles. Where have you before? These television roles or? Uh, there, you know? so there was one television role, um, and that's as far as I've got as TV. But hopefully, like I've got more stuff coming up. I've got another short film coming up in uh, January that I'm filming called Summoned. Uh, that's directed by Chris Neal. So we're just waiting on to go ahead for the film and stuff for that. Right. Does each each role define the amount of preparation you must do? Preparation. Uh, to be honest, I'm not actually a person for um, prepping for it. I would look at the script, read it over, see if I liked it first, and then I, then I would decide if, if I wanted to go ahead with it. But if I, obviously if I did get the role, then I would look over the script many, many times, um, trying to act it out as I would look at it, like where would the camera be and like just angles and stuff. Yeah. You've uh, several acts of skills, including singing, dancing, and combat. Yeah, combat training. Uh, well, I've done singing and dancing uh, when I was younger in musicals and stuff. Combat training used in fighting skills in movies and um, all that kind of stuff, just special effects and stuff. Does the Irish movie industry get the recognition it deserves? Um, I think it does. It's getting bigger every year. I mean, we've got Titanic Studios now, uh, which is known for Game of Thrones um, and its new film Dracula, I'm told. Um, it's getting, Northern Ireland's getting quite a big income of the movie industry. Um, like, it, it, Northern Ireland's known as the second Hollywood. Believe it or not. So. Right. so there is support out there for the Irish film business. Oh yeah, there's quite a lot. Like we've got Northern Ireland Screen and there's plenty of production companies within Northern Ireland that make other projects and give people the opportunity to move forward and show their skill. Right. You've done Panto, but does the live performance does the live performance enhance the actor's skills? Panto mean, there's a lot of obviously there's a lot of comedy to keep the children laughing. Um, pantomime has to be the hardest one because um, I wouldn't be as good as comedy as I expected. Um, obviously on stage and movie it's completely different. Stage you're more wise and you have to learn how to project your voice to the back of the room. Um, film the, the camera and microphone is right in front of you so you don't need to worry about project, projection, projection or anything. So. Is there any particular genre that is sort of attracts to you as an actor? Um, sorry, can you repeat that again? It, well, is this is there anything that really attracts you as an actor? Is there anything that you would... Like scary movies, horror movies, comedy movies? Um, a particular type of movie? Yeah, well, I do like, I love horror slasher movies. Um, I just love the whole blood and gore and running through the forest getting chased and that kind of, I've always wanted to do a horror, which I get to do in, in Summoned, um, which is based on Slenderman and the new film Ouija, which is a bit paranormal, but I'm going to cope with it. What advice would you give to the Blood and Nighter? Don't give up and keep moving forward. <laughs> what has been the greatest lesson of all in the work you've done? Um, work together, teamwork. That's the main thing, especially in the entertainment industry. Uh, definitely, yeah, keep working together because they always recommend you to different people all the time. I've been recommended many times. What's the greatest lesson you have learned in all the work that you've done? Um, greatest lesson. 
do what you're told. What to find? It's a good movie. In your eyes? Um, it's story. Definitely. Yeah. What have you coming up in the future? Uh, well, I've got I've got summoned coming up in January. Then I've got my film Don't Be Afraid Stand Up. Um, and then I've got an advertisement coming up as well, but I'm not too sure if that's going to hedge you. Um, but yeah, no, I'm looking forward. I'm very looking forward to summoned. Um, the horror obviously is my first horror. I'm excited to do a horror, so yeah. And where can people find out about your work? Um, well, you can find me on social networking sites on my official website. Um, you'll be able to find online and on my social networking sites. I'm on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's just all over the place. Um, news websites, all that kind of stuff. Do you have a girlfriend? Do I have a girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. Um, I'm single. Um, I'm ha I'm happy enough. Because if I did have a girlfriend, then I wouldn't have time for her. Because I'm always like either doing films or I'm away from the house. or I would just never have time. Um, and I'm, I wouldn't be ready yet. I know I'm 19, but I'm just not ready. Too young. What is the biggest problem you've had um, while filming? Like, is there anything you've come across that's really been a challenge for you? Um, it has to be too late. Um, it's Tilly is very close to me. Um, it means so much to me. Um, I lost my little cousin exactly one year today, um, last year, um, from suicide, and I wanted to bring the story forward and raise more awareness because it, it means so much to me. Action needs to be taken. The bully needs to stop for for a start. Um, it's just get out of hand. Really unrelated to acting, but what do you do for fun? What do I do for fun? Yeah. Uh, I've got my mates uh, that come up now and again. We just usually sit and watch DVDs all day. This is, this is really what we do, and watch DVDs go out. Sometimes I would go out and nights out. I would probably do it like once every two months. But yeah, it's, it's fun. <laughs>